although change is good, change is often met with loads, loads and loads of resentment, and not resentment, excuse me, it's met with resistance, because we don't actually realize how powerful change is, and how influential it is at the exact same time. Um, but change has to happen because everything in life is cyclical from the different seasons to the cycle of the moon and the sun to how our earth revolves around the sun and our solar set and the galaxy and everything. So even looking out into nature, you realize that everything has a cycle to it. And sometimes we don't understand it, but some cycles need to come to an end because in order for a new cycle to begin, an old cycle has to close. And one thing I'd like to say today, not only to myself but to everyone else, is that it's often okay when cycles end because that means that something else is beginning. And although you may not understand it at the moment, although it is scary for most of us, I would say go through the motions and allow yourself to feel, allow yourself to express, allow yourself to heal because all of these things we don't allow ourselves to do properly. You know, people say, oh, you know, I've lost my job. Okay, get over it. Find a new one. Well, if you've invested your time into something, you actually have, you need a healing process, just like getting out of a relationship or losing a loved one or getting back to the grounds of you if you've had low self-esteem. All of these things take a process because you have to deal with the underlining issues instead of masking them and moving on to the next task. So really talking about dealing with these emotions and go through the cycle. You're going to feel upset. You're going to feel angry. You're going to feel sad. You're going to feel hurt. You're going to feel betrayed. You're going to question a lot of things. But these are normal emotions that we have to go through because if we don't go through these emotions, then we're not healing ourselves, And then we start building up brick on brick on brick on brick and then we go into something else or we try to help someone else and we realize that we all have all these inner underlying issues that we've never dealt with ourselves. So whatever your situation is today, I would say don't mask your feelings. Be honest. If you're feeling sad today, you're feeling sad about a situation. If you're feeling angry, you feel angry. If you're feeling hurt or depressed, feel hurt and depressed. But all the way, whatever is good for you else in the universe to allow yourself to outpour this out and holding it in is not hurting anyone you. They often say this is like having drinking poison and expecting someone else to die, right? So from that manifestation, just really know that you're not alone because there's loads of people going through whatever situation that you're going through right about now. And it's okay to feel how you feel. That's one thing that this video is about. It's just saying that it's okay to feel whatever emotion that you're feeling right now, but just push through it and figure out a way for you to get that outlet. So if it's crying, if it's, you know, screams really can be helpful to you to just express how you feel and get it out of your own system. So today, be honest with yourself. Be honest with the real true you, who you are, and respect that. And stand up for yourself to make other people respect that. You have to respect yourself first and foremost before you expect anyone else to expect you, respect you. So you do what's best for you and release it. Go through the motions, go through the actions, find closure and purity in your closure and then move on from there. Like I said, everything in this world is cyclical. So allow this cycle to end or to close or to draw something from it. And then from there, you can go forth and manifest whatever else you need to manifest. So this is Jasmine from Natural Mahogany Queen, just bringing you a bit of light at this point in time. From my heart to yours, I wish you well. Have a great day. Bye.